Là, regardez, nous, on est dans la bonne voie, mais l'autre bord, c'est ceux qui rentrent en sens inverse. Puis lui, il est là. Il n'y a vraiment pas d'affaire là, là. Je sais, <rire> il est en sens inverse. Oh, hé, hey, vous, tu t'es mis dans la chenoute, toi, là, là. Hé, hey boy, c'est pas fort, hein? C'est pas fort! <rire> Aujourd'hui, une autre super de belle journée. On s'en va à Animal Kingdom! Voilà! Bon, bien, pour le stationnement, je pense qu'on ne sera pas gâté aujourd'hui comme les autres journées. Parce que là, ils finissent de remplir au début, puis là, on devrait s'en aller au bout là-bas. Alors, c'est parti. Regardez, elle s'en va au bout, puis on va tout suivre ça, nous autres aussi. Oh non! Ça, <rire> c'est poche! <rire> Mais allez, passez en plus de ce monde-là, de la voie de droite. Oui, c'est ça! Oh, non. <rire> Je peux attendre. Je suis pas pressée. On peut attendre avant d'aller stationner. Hein? Voilà. Et là, on s'en va à l'autre bout. <rire> à garder du monde, hein? Hi! How are you guys? Yeah! Put your finger down, please. Okay. Yeah. Other one here. Put it back there. Non, Try one more time. Une autre fois. Ah, le système de Disney. Come on. Ah, OK. Thank you. Bon, je me répète toujours que je déteste ce système-là. Bon, fait que là, on rentre. On peut aller par là. On peut aller par là. Bambi devant l'arme de Animal Kingdom. C'est vraiment trop beau. Oh wow! Mm. Pensez-vous que du monde à Animal Kingdom? Pensez-vous? Regardez. Ok, je voulais vous montrer quelque chose, ok? Le Kilimanjaro, pour ceux qui connaissent ça, l'entrée est là-bas, ok? Puis vous savez qu'il y a beaucoup de zigzags à faire. Mais la lignée, regardez, ici. Regardez, la lignée, le monsieur, il est là, OK? Et on est en face de, regardez, pas loin là, du pont quand on rentre. Vraiment tout près. C'est fou, là. C'est fou. Donc, voici les dinosaures que je ne sais pas si je vais le faire. Parce que moi, j'ai besoin d'aller en thérapie de dinosaures. J'ai peur des dinosaures. <rire> Oh mon Dieu, ça commence tout de suite. Il y a un dinosaure juste là. J'ai pas été en thérapie, aidez-moi. Je sais pas, je sais pas quoi faire. C'est 25 minutes l'attente. Voilà. commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. 
warning, meteor shower in range. Just little ones. Oleoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal. Yourself, this is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Mission accomplished. You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! On est dans un restaurant de Pandora et ça nous a coûté 42,57. Euh, ici, les deux contiennent du bœuf et euh, du poulet. Ici, il y a des patates pilées et des poivrons rouges. Et moi, j'ai des black beans avec du riz. Et... 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 et figure d'autre. Il n'y a pas d'autre chose, finalement. <rire> et un superbe bon drink ici qu'on sait que c'est super bon. Au goût d'ananas. Alors voilà, et moi j'ai pris un petit drink ici aux fruits. Fait qu'on va goûter ça. Bon, voici la neige de l'Everest si vous l'avez jamais faite. Vous montez très haut dans les airs. Et à un moment donné, il n'y a plus de trac. Vous arrêtez et vous repartez de reculons. Et à un moment donné, vous descendez. <rire> Et voilà, j'ai échangé celle-là, cette superbe belle pienne-là. Franchement, elle est vraiment belle. Alors voilà, j'ai échangé une main de mini pour celle-ci. Kelly Mangero, 5 minutes. Est-ce que ça se peut? C'est ouvert jusqu'à 7 ans moins quart. Mais est-ce que ça se peut 5 minutes? Moi, je ne crois pas ça du tout. Alors, nous allons voir si c'est vrai. Là, tout le monde est fou, tout le monde s'en met ici en courant, cinq minutes, là, tu sais. Parce que tantôt, on a attendu à peu près... On attendait ici tantôt, hein? Pas de suite? On n'attendait pas là-dedans? Oui. Ouais, c'est ça, on était pas loin. Et là, voyez-vous, à date, je regarde partout, il n'y a pas personne, parce que tantôt, on a attendu là-dedans. Là, on saute beaucoup d'étapes, puis on attendait là-dedans aussi. Donc, on a sauté beaucoup d'étapes. As we like to say here in Harambe, to win day, which means let's go! Yoo -hoo! Hello everyone, my name is Seth. I'm going to be your safari guide as we embark on a journey through the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. But before we get started, I do have a couple of safety reminders. Please remain fully seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the truck at all times. Looks like it is wearing zebra pants. <laughs> but they have no relation to the zebra. Okapis are related to the giraffe due to a similar skeletal structure. Okapis are super shy and reclusive animals. They were unknown to the Western world until 1901. And there was not even a photograph taken of one in the wild. On the right, we are going to see a saddle-billed stork. The saddle-billed stork gets its name from the yellow saddle shape they have on their bill. They can stand up to five feet tall with a wingspan of up to nine feet wide. Do you see some pink-backed pelicans? The pink-backed pelicans get their name because during their mating season, they have a light pink back almost as if they are blushing. 
and they have a wingspan of seven to nine feet wide. The tip top of their head so they can get a good idea of their surroundings while their bodies will remain submerged. The boats have super sensitive skin so the water helps protect them from overheating. On the left type of pressure we have little ones completely seated in your lap please. We have the nine crocodiles. These crocodiles make sure we're seated please and just fully seated. opportunistic hunters eating just about anything that comes their way. Millions of animals will migrate to the savannah every single year in order to get the resources they will need in order to survive. Over on the right we have some spring box. They can stand up to three feet tall, weighing up to 100 pounds fully grown. Further down on the right we have the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. Zebras are very social animals. They can weigh up to 750 pounds and stand up to five feet tall. Hartman's Mountain Zebras also have a very small flap underneath their neck, which is called a dewlap. Do laps help with their thermal regulation. The only type of hoofstock. Coming up on the right, we are going to see a Maasai giraffe sitting down. This is a pretty rare find. Giraffes usually do not sit or lay down because it leaves them more vulnerable to predators. But gives them a great advantage over predators who will normally hide in tall grass. Maasai giraffes have a splotchy and irregular pattern. The giraffe is the tallest animal in the world, ranging 15 to 20 feet tall. On the right, we do have some wildebeest. Wildebeest will translate to wild beast from Afrikaans. They are the second most densely populated mammals in the world, second to only humans. They can travel in groups up to one and a half million. And they have been known to migrate up to a thousand miles during the Great Migration across the Serengeti. <laughs> Giraffes are ruminants, so they have four stomach compartments which means they can easily digest many foods other animals are unable to. They have a super long, prehensile, dark purple tongue. Their dark purple tongue has melanin. On the right, we are going to see the African elephant. The African elephant is the largest land animal in the world. They can weigh up to 13,000 pounds eating up to 300 pounds of food every single day. Elephants do live in a matriarchal society, so mothers and their young will normally stay together, living in groups of 2 to 40. But once a male elephant reaches maturity, he will go off on his own or form a loose bachelor herd. Coltan is a metallic ore found in our electronic devices, such as our cell phones, laptops, and tablets. And something very small we can do to help these animals is to just recycle any old electronics that we have laying around the house or no longer use. Flamboyance. On the left, we are going to see the southern white rhinoceros. White rhinos can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. We call a group of them a crash because they have very poor eyesight. They are nearsighted. Rhinos. On the left, I do see a lion. We should get a better view here in just a few moments. 
clients do spend most of their time sleeping or resting. <laughs> These are all females, as they have dark gray feathers. The males have black feathers. On the right, we do have some ostrich eggs. Coming up on the left, we are going to see some Nigerian dwarf goats. These goats originate from West Africa, but they have now been domesticated worldwide. They are very easy for local farmers to tend to because of their small size. Please reduce, reuse, and recycle, especially in the parks today. Please recycle your park mats water bottles and utensils and help us to spread these messages of conservation. And once you head home, please recycle any old electronics you have you are no longer using. And you can see some really awesome animals like the okapi. There is an underwater viewing area for hippos, a bird aviary, and that does close at 6.15 this evening. Alrighty folks, it is now time for us to part ways.